Hello and welcome to the introduction for the audio tour of the exhibit Prison Sentences, Penitentiary Literature in Kingston. This exhibit focuses on prison newsletters or joint magazines from Kingston area prisons. The exhibit provides an in-depth look at writings by prisoners. It examines the content and historical significance of these works and draws attention to the quality of these publications, especially in the 1950s and 60s. It attempts to establish the context and tension in which these newsletters were produced. The idea to have an exhibit of this material came about after the Canadian Penitentiary Museum donated a number of newsletters to the Queen's University Archives. The archives passed along the items to the W.D. Jordan Special Collections and Music Library to add to our existing collection of prison newsletters. Jordan Library now has more than 10 linear feet of prison newsletters, the majority from Kingston Penitentiary, Collins Bay, and the Prison for Women. These bulletins, written and produced entirely by inmates, were professional in their production, as well as the stories that were contained within the pages. In the early days, they all contained regular features, including sports columns, humor, a census of the prison population, and a greetings column. Judging from the lengthy sports columns, this was an important part of the life of the inmate. The humor pages are also of interest and are of varying degrees of cynicism. The exhibit contains six cases that cover the history of the Canadian penal press, social issues on the inside, the printing aspect of the newsletters, personal narrative books written inside Kingston prisons, and a sample of writings of famous political prisoners. One case is devoted entirely to Tightwire, published at the Prison for Women. The exhibit would not have happened without the assistance from the following people. Mr. Jim Murphy, retired CSC, Dave St. Ange, curator of the Canadian Penitentiary Museum, Dr. John Vardy, Heather Holm, Queen's University Archives, Dr. Alvin Bregman, head W.D. Jordan Library, Pam Manders, and the rest of the staff at W.D. Jordan Library.